All right. Uh, good morning. This is Luke Thomas, home quiz here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. And we've got a lot to cover as far as earthquakes around the world. We're going to start with the warning in California. Let's take a look at that first. All right. So here's the very large signal that we were getting uh, from the 18th through the 21st, right there in the Los Angeles basin. And that's where the most likely spot for this earthquake to hit. And then uh, a few days later, we got some more signals. And these were all coming just northeast of LA. But you can see uh, from this data here, from this, you can see this white area expands all the way out to here, all the way up to San Francisco and the, the, the greatest risk just northeast of Los Angeles. Well, that is uh, because this risk continues to grow and expand. Uh, some of the other forecast models are saying uh, the most likely time for this quake to hit is today or tomorrow. So uh, be on alert, very strong earthquake. I believe a 6.0 earthquake or larger is likely. And because the first signal here was in the Los Angeles basin, I think it's gonna hit uh, just uh, north or east of Los Angeles here in the Los Angeles basin. Uh, that's my gut feeling as far as with the 17 years of research. But um, you can see all these different forecast models point to the area just northeast of LA here. And this one here points to the area uh, just northeast of LA. And this one points to just east of LA, right in the Los Angeles basin. So somewhere very close to Los Angeles is going to get a very strong earthquake in the next 48 hours. And um, most likely in Southern California. And the most likely spot is right there in the LA basin, the Los Angeles basin. So please uh, warn your friends and family, we had a huge, huge signal. After this first very large signal here, this huge signal hit right here. So something definitely is gonna happen in Southern California during the next 48 hours. And most likely a quake, 6.0 earthquake or larger. Now let's take a look around the world at some of the other places real quick. You can see here the Southwest portion of Alaska at 75% risk. And we had a 5.1 and a 4.5 right in that risk area down here. You can see uh, southwest of Sandpoint, Alaska, and that's where the risk is right now, 75% risk. In Greece, the risk is uh, shifting from the southeast up to the northwest near Albania, southern Albania and uh, northwestern Greece at 75% risk. They could get a 4.0 to 4.5 in that area. In the Caribbean, we've got a very large area of risk here uh, near Anguilla to Montserrat to Guadalupe. So this area could get easily could get a uh, 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake between now and March 2nd. So during the next 48 hours, expect a significant quake in the Northeast Caribbean, centered closest to uh, Montserrat, Guadalupe and Anguilla. Central America, the risk is building for February 28th today through uh, March 7th. And uh, we could get a 5.0 earthquake in southeastern El Salvador, southern Honduras, or northwestern Nicaragua, right in this area here. 85% uh, risk, so that points to about a 5.0 earthquake is likely in uh, southeast El Salvador or northwestern Nicaragua uh, during this forecast period here. You can look at these at quakeprediction.com, all these maps. You can see this huge area of risk just west of Santiago and northwest of Concepcion. And we were telling you about that in the last forecast. And they've been getting lots of quakes in that area. Um, during the last few days, you can see all these quakes that have been hitting right there, exactly where we said, just west of Santiago. And then just recently, a uh, more significant earthquake, 5.7 and a 4.7 right in here near Concepcion. And we were mentioning that in the last forecast. So uh, you can see the risk is still out there through the second. So a 6.0 earthquake is still possible in that area. Even though we did get uh, this 5.7 already, we still could get a, a, a 6.0 earthquake or larger 
because of this huge risk offshore here. So uh, be prepared for that west of Santiago, even though they've gotten all these significant earthquakes right in our high risk area during the last uh, couple of days. Indonesia, the risk is kind of scattered. Most, uh, most uh, of the risk is down here in the southeastern part of Indonesia and northwestern Sumatra, 75% risk there, but not really, really high risk. We had a very high risk here in the 95% risk uh, in the Celebes, uh, and that produced a bunch of significant earthquakes over 5. Point, I think it was 5.7 and 5.2, and a swarm of earthquakes in that area. But the risk has settled down a bit here in this next forecast. Iran, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in southwestern Iran near the uh, Persian Gulf there. And uh, southwest and southwest portions of Iran could still get a 4.0 to 4.5 there. Italy, a 4.5 earthquake is uh, still possible in uh, southern Italy and uh, near Sicily and the southern portion of Italy. Japan, the risk is, and you can see it's way up here in the northeast and uh, northeast of uh, near Aomori and uh, Morioka, Iwate Prefecture. And you can see getting a bunch of earthquakes here off up here near uh, Hokkaido, uh, 4.5, 4.9, 5.3, 4.6, 4.4. And these are all up in that uh, very high risk area here, northeast of Japan. Peru, the risk is pretty low across Peru. 55% and 60% in the far north, 60 to 65% in Ecuador. So not a huge amount of risk in Ecuador and Peru. Philippines, a couple of days ago, a few days ago, we, uh, we had a very high risk in the south and they got a bunch of quakes above 5.0 in that warning area. Now it's quieted down to uh, about 75% risk in this area here in Southern Philippines. So uh, the risk has come down significantly and also the uh, quakes have uh, diminished in that area. Turkey uh, near Crete and Cyprus, Southwestern Greece, about 80% risk of 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in that area. And let's see here. Okay, yes, so we got this 4.0 earthquake, right? here northwest of Los Angeles and a 3.1 northwest of Los Angeles and then a 3.3 down south of the Salton Sea here. So things are starting to uh, hit in Southern California. Expecting a uh, 6.0 earthquake or larger in Southern California, most likely right here in the Los Angeles basin because of this first signal we got here, this one right here. So I'm expecting it in Southern California, but most likely in the Los Angeles Basin. And please look at quakeprediction.com to check these uh, forecast maps out. Otherwise, be on alert in the Southern California, especially near the Los Angeles Basin for a strong 6.0 earthquake is likely with a huge signal uh, in the last few days in that area. So definitely uh, uh, not guaranteed, but very, very likely to hit in Southern California during the next 48 hours. Thanks so much. And we will talk to you uh, tomorrow. And uh, thanks for the support from the 187,000 followers on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, thank you, 17 years of research at quickprediction.com. Thank you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.